Throughout the generations, the Sith have seen many powerful Dark Lords rise to prominence, each claiming the coveted title of Darth. And this title has been bore by many notorious figures such as Darth Vader, Darth Nihilus, and my personal favorite, Darth Jar Jar. To many, the name Darth is synonymous with evil and the dark side of the Force. And this perception is not surprising given the fearsome deeds and dark accomplishments of those who have held the title. However, what was the unique and interesting background that surrounds the title of Darth and what is the meaning behind it to the Sith? The title of Darth has a deeply entrenched history that stretches back thousands of years to the very origins of the Sith Order and possibly even before that. In those ancient times, the title was a rare and esteemed designation, exclusively bestowed upon Sith Lords who have demonstrated exceptional prowess and dedication to the dark side of the Force. These individuals had to prove their worthiness through rigorous trials and significant accomplishments before being granted the honor of the Sith name Darth. However, it is important to note that this title was not obligated for all Sith Lords. If a Sith Lord chose to not adopt the title, they were free to do so, as they did not have to choose it. Instead, if they wanted to just keep their original Sith name, they could do that. As centuries passed, the once exclusive title of Darth began to become more frequently used among the Sith, and this gradual change in its adaptation led to a dilution of its original significance. Whereas it was once marked as the highest honor and achievement, the prohibition of the title made it so commonplace that to some, it lost its unique prestige. This overuse led to a growing number of Sith rejecting the title altogether, seeking to maintain its original value and significance. And to fully understand the true meaning of Darth requires examination of the insights of key Sith figures and what they've done, particularly Darth Bane. After the establishment of the Rule of Two, Darth Bane states that Darth is a title of power. It carries authority and is crowned by judgment of history. It symbolizes transformation. According to Bane, receiving the title of Darth signifies a profound metamorphosis, a complete commitment to the dark side of the Force and the Sith Order. And this commitment forces the abandonment of the Sith's former life and their past self altogether, embracing their new identity and sole dedication to the pursuit of the Sith ideals and the dark side of the Force. And the Book of Sith also provides further context about the meaning of Darth. And as Darth Bane once said, but the word's true meaning does not come from any one language, but the profound histories and accomplishments of those who have bore the title. The book then goes on to highlight several notable Sith Lords who exemplified the title's prestige. For instance, Darth Malgus, who was renowned for his leadership during the ransacking of the Jedi Temple on Coruscant, Darth Revan and Darth Malak, who established a new Sith Order that rivaled the Galactic Republic by their influence across the galaxy, and finally, Darth Revan, who abandoned the Jedi Order to follow his monocle philosophy of self-interest and ignited a thousand-year conflict that concluded at the Battle of Rassan. The title of Darth could also be speculated to be a specific rank within the Sith Order, positioned just below the Dark Lord of the Sith, which was the highest rank a Sith could receive. And the rank of Darth was intended to signify an individual's extraordinary strength and capability. However, the widespread adoption of the title led to a significant internal strife, as competition for the title often resulted in deadly conflicts among the Sith, further weakening the Order. And this internal turmoil was one of the primary reasons why some Sith chose to reject the title altogether, seeking to avoid unnecessary bloodshed and maintain the stability of the Order. The title of Darth was also supposed to be reserved for only the most formidable and accomplished Sith, awarded only when the Sith Master deemed their apprentice worthy and ready to receive their title, and that would happen when they proven themselves through immense strength and to the dark side. However, not everyone aligned with the dark side could hold the title Darth. It was a distinctive mark that set Sith apart from other dark side practitioners. Similarly, it functioned like the ranks within the Jedi Order, such as the rank of Jedi Knight or Master, specifically the Master as it signified a certain level of mastery and accomplishments with the Force. And while Darth Bane may say that Darth has no original language, that is not entirely true, as many believe that the word Darth actually comes from the ancient Rakatan Empire, specifically the terms Dar-ta, which when translated to Galactic Basic means triumph over death. And when combined, it also could be interpreted to mean Emperor, which is a fitting description as many Sith who were given the title of Darth also were leaders or empires within the Sith Order. In conclusion, the title of Darth carries a legacy of power and transformation within the Sith Order. Its origins are deeply rooted within ancient traditions and accomplishments of the Sith, symbolizing a complete commitment to the dark side of the Force and the abandonment of one's former life. If you enjoyed today's video and you made it this far, it would mean so much to me if you could like and subscribe as it would help out the channel a ton. Also, make sure to comment who your favorite Sith is in the comments and why. And with that, my fellow Star Wars nerds, may the Force be with you.